What's up guys, my name is John. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what I think the best lens options are for the budget or DIY filmmaker. I recently purchased this glass kit and I'm unbelievably stoked on the performance of these lenses and what I can do with them and how they've expanded my capabilities as a filmmaker. So what I'm gonna be talking about today are the Rokinon Cine Glass Kit. Uh, this is the T1.5 kit. It includes an 85, a 35, and a 24 millimeter lens. So I'm gonna start with the 24 millimeter lens. The build quality on these things are insane. They are, they're really sturdy lenses and for the price, I really don't think you can beat this. It has a transmission of T1.5 and an f-stop of 1.4, which is incredible for a lens this cheap. The light transmission can be compared to lenses like, the light transmission can be compared to lenses like the Canon L glass, which is mind blowing. For the price, I mean, you get these three lenses for, I think it cost me about $13.50 with tax. Um, and I mean like one Canon L lens is about that price. Um, these lenses are manual focus and they do have a little bit of fringing when they're wide open, but for the most part, um, these are an incredible option for any budget filmmaker. 24 millimeter is great. You can get some nice wide shots. Uh, moving on, we'll up to the 35 millimeter. This is another beautiful lens by Rokinon. Again, build quality is totally there. Uh, one complaint I have with this one is how long it is. I have a Sony a6300, uh, so it's a mirrorless camera. So basically what they did is take the Canon version, the EF mount version of this lens and extend it. Uh, so that the lens can be further away from the sensor so that the lens would work. It looks a little bit weird on the Sony a6300 because of its size, uh, it just looks a little bit lopsided. Overall, excellent lens, very sharp even when wide open. Again, same thing with the 24 millimeter, there is a little bit of purple and green fringing, but it's to be expected when the lens is wide open and it's pretty hard to avoid even when you're spending a lot of money on the glass. But this thing has a beautiful big front element, really nice focus ring, and really nice aperture ring. Uh, this is my favorite part about this lens, is how long the focus throw is and how smooth the aperture ring is. Uh, if you can see from here, I don't know if you can tell, the aperture is opening and closing. The difference between this lens and the photo version of this lens is that it has a larger focus throw and it has a smooth aperture. So there's no more clicking with aperture, which is great for video. You don't want like that stoppy, clicky aperture change when you're changing exposure. Great, you can get like a smooth exposure change and really get in tight on exactly what aperture you want. All right, so moving on, we'll check out the Rokinon 85 millimeter cine lens. This has an insane front element. This lens is incredible. I love shooting video portraits with this. I love shooting even regular portraits with this. You can get some insanely shallow depth of field, a really, really cinematic feel. As long as your shot is well stabilized, this lens is incredible. This uh, lens obviously has no in-lens stabilization, and if you're shooting on a Sony a6300, there's no in-body stabilization either. So you gotta be careful shooting with this lens. Uh, if you're not on a tripod or a three-axis gimbal. And even on a three-axis gimbal, I've had a little bit of shake in the lens, but most of it can be corrected in post with warp stabilizer, as long as the shot's not too shaky. So I'm really, really in love with all these options. Uh, the 35, the 24, and the 85 are all beautiful lenses to add to your collection if you're in the market for something new. I, I really don't think that there's a better bang for your buck out there than these. They're crazy sharp, and even though they have a little bit of fringing when they're wide open, it's kind of to be expected with most lenses when they are wide open, especially glass that is this affordable. I think this is one of the best investments I've made in my filmmaking career, and I would totally recommend it to anybody. If you're interested in purchasing these lenses for yourself, you can check those out and purchase them right through there. So yeah, thanks for checking out this video. I'd be stoked if you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it or subscribing and hang around for more content. But like I said, thanks for checking out this video and I hope to catch you guys later.